something about our stress-free setup, right? Yeah. You're taking forever. It's making this stressful. <laughs> that is exactly what makes this stressful, is that you think this should go faster than I'm going. But we're here to vacation. Well, That's I'm... half the problem. Like, we're here to chill, and you're already like, you're not doing the video fast enough. Well, because I'm, I'm waiting on you to get set up. I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing so the hurry up. I'm going to throw the camera. You know, in the lake, give it to me. This is exactly what I'm talking about. We are going to show you our tips for a stress-free setup so you can enjoy your camping trip. So let's all go ahead and agree now that we all know stress-free is a big fat lie, right? <laughs> this is the hardest part is getting, deciding who's going to get in the fight, who's going to get grouchy, and who's going to start the yelling. Is it going to be Jarrett? Is it going to be me? Or is it going to be one of our teenagers? Well, good thing for us, we only brought one this weekend. But we're going to show you our setup and we try to keep it simple and we try to keep it stress-free, and this is how we do it. Okay, are we doing this in one fell swoop? Yep, let's go. In this video, I'm gonna show you what we do as far as our setup goes. Um, we try to keep our setup as minimalistic as possible, and it just makes life a lot easier. You know, you've come in off a road, uh, whether you're in a towable um, or, a, or a drivable, you know, being out on the road is stressful enough, you're normally tired at that point if you've gone very far, or if it's Friday night after work, you've had a long week at work and you haven't really change gears at least you know speaking of me and it's really easy and I always joke you want to test your marriage set up your camper the goal here is simplicity that will do it every time and so in this video we kind of show you what me and Valerie do to kind of keep us from wanting to light each other on fire and it works pretty well so the first thing you know when we get to the campground Valerie's always looking around and she's like talking about how pretty it is and she's already like marking out sites for our next trip and when I'm pulling in with the travel trailer I'm always looking at like what am I going to try not to hit and can I back in to my site now occasionally we get lucky and we get to pull in but I don't think we've had a pull in site so far this year I think we've backed into everything and most of the time the campgrounds do a pretty good job of getting you in so once we get in that once we kind of get to the campsite I will normally kind of like start eyeballing it and trying to decide where I want to put my camper on the on whatever the pad is whether it's gravel or concrete one thing I always like to do is put the left side or the the hookup side as far over as I can get it that way it gives me more room me us more room on the camper side to kind of have maybe keep the awning away from a fire pit you know more room for our chairs places to put our bikes you know just you know all this all the crap you have to bring to go camping and so I like it to be set up as far left as I can, you know, so long as my awning, or not my awning, but my slide doesn't hit the um, power pedestal, you know, like your power pedestal. So, you know, I always kind of got to keep that in mind. So that's the first thing we do is get it kind of the camper set position, you know, left to right where we want it. And the next thing I'll do is level it. Now, I will say in this video, we did that, but occasionally you get kids barking at you everybody's grouchy trying to keep it stress free and you get out of order and you forget to do something i've had camping trips where i've thought we were good to go i've put everything out and then realized that we were way off level left or right hitched back up undid everything and you know it's just one of those things where when that happens you just have to be in a good mood about it and just realize that as soon as you're done you're done you're done and you can enjoy your camping trip that was a cliff note so anyway, so once I get the camper left right, we'll get it level, and then that's when all the fun stuff happens. And so one thing I will give you is once 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 we're level, and then especially in a travel trailer, and I start unhooking, I'm pretty much done with Valerie. Like, I don't no longer need her assistance. And this is how we keep our stress-free camping set up as much as possible, is when I'm doing my thing, she's doing her thing. And yes, we will help each other, but for the most part, we don't help each other. She likes things a certain way, I like things a certain way, and we just get to where we don't really try to, we communicate, because she'll say, can I put a slide out, or can I turn the ACs on? But for the most part, it's, I'm doing my thing, and I try to do my thing in the order of the things that she's like, you know, get the power going so she can get the slides out and the ACs on as soon as possible. And once I kind of get that done, she's able to do her part, and I'm able to do my part, but we really don't talk to each other. And if you learn anything, is when you're setting up your camper, Keep your conversation with your spouse or partner to minimal. Best advice I can give you. 
And if you have kids, don't talk to them either. But anyway, so I've, I've, getting back to it, I've unhitched my camper. I've got it set up. The first thing I do is I put my hook my power up. This is actually just gets out of the camper systems running for Valerie. She can turn the ACs on, especially in the summer if it's really, really hot. And then once I'm done, you know, I kind of, I go in and I hook up my sewer. I hook up my water. And you know, that doesn't have to be in any particular order, but that's just kind of how I do things. So now that we got level, I've got my X chocks in. I always throw wheel chocks in just just in case, just as a backup. And then, then I'll, you know, my truck's unhooked. I will go up and I have a little pasture apartment up, fr up front and I throw all my junk in. And I kind of pull out the stuff that I need to set up for that particular site, whether we have full hookups, you know, I may not get my sewer stuff out, but I, you know, if we don't have cable to hook up the TVs, I'll leave that stuff put away, but I always get out my drill, my leveling block, my little orange blocks to put under the jack feet. And then I kind of set it up accordingly. My garden hose, I always use a pressure regulator. This is just a little cheapy. Well, this wasn't cheap, but, uh, pressure regulator and just a water filter we do we don't really drink this water but we shower and stuff in it so why not uh, water filter just in case and so once all that comes out I go to town putting stuff in once I've got everything out which is pretty quick Riley's kind of already getting the camper to open up and then all this happens real fast if we have sewer I will hook up the sewer I will always hook up the water, make sure we got water. We know we normally never dry camp, so we always try to camp with we have electric and water. So I always hook up my water, and then once that's done, we go to cable TV if we have it. And so you know, again, my my goal for for even the stuff I carry is I keep keep it to a minimum. If I don't use it, I normally won't carry it. And if I'm going somewhere and I know I won't need something, I won't bring it. I don't want to carry extra stuff and have to contend with getting extra stuff in and out of the camper just in case I need it because honestly most of the time I don't and a matter of fact I'll tell you a story I our camping trip in Mammoth Cave I ran a jack up and blew a fuse and I realized that I forgot my fuses not a big deal but I kind of freaked out and I thought I didn't have a toolkit with me but because I never used that particular toolkit I had it with me. I just forgot. So I borrowed tools from the neighbor like a moron. But I'm just saying all that to say is like, know what you have and don't take too much stuff. Especially for the outside stuff. Because that's just more stuff they want you to put up. And that's more stressful. So just don't bring it. Check out my broken jack video. You'll see my mood and my stress level as soon as it happens. Because Valerie runs over with the camera and says, what happened? And at that point, I said in one of our videos, um, with our Nautica, you should always carry a hammer just so you can throw it. And that's exactly what I felt like that day. Again, guys, I keep my setup as minimum as possible, as simplistic as possible. I try to keep my, I normally try to do all my outside stuff in like 15 minutes. 20 minutes tops, 15 minutes is where I like to be. Happens real quick. And then I will, now we'll show you what Valerie does on the inside. So check that out. So once Jarrett's got his part done outside and I've left him alone, I'm basically coming in inside. This is short and sweet. I don't have a lot to set up on the inside because like he said, we keep it simple by bringing only the basic necessities. Now I want to decorate and put out all the things, but to keep it simple, it's just not always necessary. So we just typically don't. It just helps me feel a little less stress when less is needed. Once he's hooked up the electric and the water, I basically, you know, come inside and tell the kids they can come inside if they need to cool off or whatever. Otherwise, like he said, they're kind of at the picnic bench or already off on a walk doing their thing because they know when to be quiet. And that's when dad's setting up the camper. <laughs> so um, I'm coming in. I pull out the slides very first thing. Here it comes. I'm going to hit it. Knocked him to the ground. <laughs> I know you ladies do the same. I'm gonna put out the slide and hit him in the head. We think it, we don't really do it. Slide number one, out. Then I get the AC running, or the heat, whichever is needed. If I remember, I put out the awning as well, but that can come last too. It doesn't matter, there's no particular order. But then I'm basically just setting up 
the interior of our little home on wheels. So I usually start by just getting out my stuff. I'll go to the back bedroom and get out our little lamps because I like to have a little extra soft like night light like you ladies probably do as well. Got these little lamps at Target, 10 bucks. They fit right in the cabinet above the bed. They're perfect. So I keep one in the bedroom and one in the kitchen and I get those set up and then I'm getting out like my coffee pot, little things I want on the counter, like just setting up ready for maybe the next morning. That way when we get up, it's all prepared and ready to go and I can have a fresh cup of coffee like right when the sunlight breaks the light of day. Basically just setting up house. So I will get out the little home decor things I get at Target, which aren't very expensive, you know, just set up a few little things. Back in my little side cubby, I keep a little more decor. Not a lot, just a little. Got this little plant stand at Target, you know, in the impulse buy section, right when you walk in. The impulse buy section. It's five dollars. And I believe these were also three or five dollars. Gives a little, little something. I get out all the things from the cabinetry, like in the bathroom. I'll make sure we've got toilet paper ready, a hand towel, make sure we've got the toothbrushes ready. I'm just getting out everything that was packed for the trip. You know, now it's on the counter and feeling like a home. For us, we did replace our vinyl recliners that came with this sport trek and you can watch another video of us putting in a modular burrow couch which we actually have learned to love it's grown on us it's actually really comfortable but so in this setup i'm just making sure the couch is pushed back it didn't get shifted around in the move um, and then putting out our little ottomans which you got on amazon they're perfect for just putting your feet up or putting a tray on for drinks and those are so simple they just ride along on the trip on top of the couch they're super lightweight. They hardly take up any weight at all. And so I'll set that kind of stuff up. Then I'm going to the pantry, making sure everything's straight in there. Nothing got shifted around. Same with the refrigerator, making sure we have cold drinks in the fridge. Food in the fridge made it. When we put out the slide, I already checked. I like to make sure that nothing slid around. And in this case, it didn't because I've got these handy dandy, you know, tight seal, lockable um, containers for everything, except maybe the apples. And then I've got these bright room bins from Target that hold everything. So I try to make sure everything is in a container or in a lockable container, you know, and not gonna go anywhere. And putting some waters away, I think that's everything. Like, easy, not too much going on. Oh, there, there is one more thing. Inside setup, Jared did his part, we're hooked up, AC's running. We're going to go outside and set up two rocking chairs, the table, and maybe one or two decor items, depending on where we're going. But in this case, I'm not sure yet. And then if you're taking the kids, I always like to do a fun little, like, just make it fun. I set out some treats, whatever, candy, snacks, chips, whatever your kids love. Bring those things and make them happy. Sugar goes a long way. Just set out a few things on the countertop. Just kind of brings a little excitement to the trip and the kids love it. So all of this really like setting out my little home decor things it takes 10 minutes if that. Very simple I'm not setting up much and the last thing we do is set up the outdoor stuff which for us is usually just chairs for the amount of people that are with us. Usually we have two rockers and our little pop-up table that we got at Camping World. Love those. Sometimes we'll put out our American flag light depending on where we're at and if we don't want to track bugs or not. Um, and maybe our little American flag windsock. Jarrett will set out the grill and that's basically it. Like this whole process only takes somewhere between maybe 15 and 25 minutes unless you have to rehook and get level again. Less is more for us and maybe it's the same way for you. Comment below and tell us how you guys set up, whether you try to keep it stress free if you've ever had a stress-free setup, please let us know. <laughs> That's usually the most difficult part of the camping trip. Basically, don't talk to each other. Stay in your own lane. Keep the kids away. <laughs> keep your equipment and the things you want to set up to a minimum so you can enjoy your trip more than you're spending time setting up the RV. That's how we like to do it. 
and we hope the video was helpful. So moral of the story is keep it simple. We'll see you on our next adventure.